What's up guys? We are back um finally with more videos. We're gonna play some Civilization 6 now. We're starting a campaign as the American Empire. Um we're playing on a huge map, uh just on Prince difficulty, because I'm not the greatest at this damn game, but we will get better at it together. So we're just gonna go ahead and start this here. Found all little Washington DC. And we're just gonna explore with you. All right, so what I like to do, I have played several games of this, but we're going to go ahead and get a scout out first. I won one. That's pretty impressive for me. Um, as Gilgamesh. But we're going to go ahead and uh, see what do we have around us. We need the rice and mining for right now. So let's go ahead and get pottery. All right, and next turn. So yeah, I'm sorry it's been a while since videos have come out. I know, I know, I know. But hopefully we'll start putting out more videos shortly and more regularly again with the release of Civilization VI and other interesting games that I would want to play. Maybe do another XCOM series. Who knows? We'll see. So the problem, what I've been noticing with this is you really have to have a military early on as well as exploring so we got uh, inspiration which i'm sure if you've been watching civ 6 videos this boosts us to learn a civics tree because it broke down the research tree into the research and the civics so you get civics by your culture per turn up there and science per turn for the other one there so we're gonna go ahead we gotta take these barbarians out these scouts find your city and they'll go back to their camp and they'll send shit ton of barbarians out to you actually that's not a bad place for a new city maybe we'll do that next our first city will settle where that barbarian camp was <laughs> gotta kill that barbarian camp for america for america yeah Ooh, i don't know how to turn that off yet Take you. I want you to explore up there. That's the scout. Yay, we got money and a promotion. All right, uh, let's go ahead and get a slinger now. You said I'm gonna have to repair, uh, heal you. I actually do like that spot for a city. Exit a mountain range to get the adjacency bonuses. So Civ 6, a lot has changed. I'm not sure if you guys have been watching other videos, but now everything you don't build just in your city center there. Um, in, in the previous Civ 6, you just build all the buildings you want there, but now you have to build districts as well to get certain buildings up, like a holy site. So you could go ahead and start building temples and shrines and all that other goodness and now we need to get mine in get that slinger then we'll pop out a barbarian a barbarian i'm a worker so we can start working this rice and stuff well desert up here go to the goody hut first few turns well not first few turns but the first oh got another scout nice they gave me a free scout We met Candy in their religious city state because they're white. And we can check here and see what they have. So right now we got one envoy since we're the first one that found them. So they're giving us two plus plus two faith in the capital, which is gonna help us get our religion up. Um and at, at three envoys we get plus two faith in every holy site and six envoys and then with three envoys we also get the suzerain of them so they will go to war with us and all these other little bonuses there. But, I don't know what victory we're going to do as America right now. Might. Since we are getting some culture. I would face it per turn. Might go ahead and see about doing religious victory. I don't know. But let's go ahead now. we got our slinger up. I want to get a builder going. I want to manage our citizens. Uh... 
able to work that so we get more people per turn. And we're just going to fortify that guy right in there. This guy's going to go up there and look around and see what we do. Because we are going to want to settle there. I do like that spot. But we got to check what's around there. Oh, we learned Zanz found Zanzibar, which is, since they're yellow, they are economic city-states. All right. So we got our first civics completed. So we, this is the civic tree, which is where you learn different things of government, and you get a little different boost to your stuff now. Uh, what do I want to do? Let's do... Jump right down there for now. Get the foreign trade going. Now we can fill. See, we are chiefdom is our government. Here's all the different governments that you will learn throughout it, through the different periods of time. And so now we got one military policy, one economic policy. Now I like to go ahead and put the barbarians in the beginning, and then the faith per capita, just for the beginning. Um, Form of government that we have there so we could go ahead and kill barbarians faster get our religion out faster and over all around bigger boost to our economy let's explore this area then. of course we can't learn anything in that area we'll come down here let's see we can mine now, yay! All right, so now that we got that mining, we're gonna need to get irrigation for our next city there, and also animal husbandry. So let's go ahead and pop out some animal husbandry since we do also have the cattle there, which we can reach out and grab. And we'll go ahead and pop out the irrigation next for the civic tree, not civic tree, research tree. I'm surprised we haven't found another civilization yet. Right, I want you to come. You're gonna come down. You sir are gonna start coming back to home. I need to explore up more. Maybe we'll get another scout. Maybe we'll go ahead and either buy or build another scout. A little spices, a little spice in your life right there. So I really enjoy civilization games. I don't know about you guys. I have a lot of fun with them. I enjoy them a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we should be back uh, this Wednesday. Hopefully this video will be up on Monday. Uh, tomorrow. For it. Um, then we'll hopefully be back with this Wednesday with the stream as well. I do apologize, guys. I have been gone from you for too far, far too long. But I will be back. Let's go ahead and build our farm there. Get that rice. And look, then we boost our irrigation. If I do any little, let's see, pull up the civic. So, so if you do the little things here, it'll boost it. Like um, to boost, find another civilization for riding, find a natural wonder, which is hard to do. City on the coast, all that different stuff. So it also cuts it in half, uh, essentially, for what you need to learn. And there's our civilization. Uh, hello, I am Hojo. Hello, Hojo. How are you doing today, sir? It's an honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. And so then we boosted right in for me and Hojo. Alright, so uh, I really do like the diplomacy that you could do. Because I found in other games it's really hard. Other civil games it's really hard to even get any kind of diplomatic actions with them. So let's go ahead and send a delegation. He likes us. Cool. But here you can look at our relationship and see what... Um, they like and don't like about you so you kind of can change it so you could get your 
um, boost that you want to make it more applicable applicable to befriend you. All right, so now we got our pantheon. So our religion started. I always like going to the divine spark. It helps us out later on with the great people. But I always do that. Let's see if we can find something else that we might enjoy doing this time. Um. I really don't see anything that would be as good of a bonus for it. As Divine Spark. Like overall, because this will help you throughout the whole game there. Um, everything else is more position based. And it won't help all your civilizations. Uh, this helps for all the districts and everything you got going on there. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And found our pantheon and another look inspiration another boost boost it up boost it up all right now we got our worker there we got three let's go ahead and get our settler out let's go ahead and get a settler because we do want to build there and i hate these barbarian ones like this because barbarian camps if they're formed near horses they will pop out horsemen, and those guys are just ridiculously overpowered. Ridiculously overpowered. All right, so we could boost that guy up, promote him. Who needs orders? You do. See, so, so Hojo's gonna have a lot of problems. Yeah, with these barbarians. Which is good for us. Maybe we'll swoop in when they're weakened by the barbarians and take them over. Huh. That's an awesome saying there. There are no dogs in heaven. I would like to go where dogs go to. Okay, we're going to get our irrigation going so then we could work these tiles over here when we settle there which shall be soon um go build your mine kind of want to we're gonna have to kind of defend ourselves against these barbarians if they come hmm, get a major victory horse archers nice Very rare that your scat will get a major victory against anything. The slingers are picking away at these horsemen, but these horsemen are going to fudge him up. Mess him up big time. Of course, they're coming after my scout for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why you're coming after my scout. What has my scout done to you? Well, you could just go and sack this city there. I uh, don't get that. We're going to fortify you right there. You're going to go ahead and build the quarry. And we got another boost of masonry. All right, we're going to pull you out. Okay, we met the Congo. And so with this Congo... They like religion, but they like religions of other civilizations. So we need to go ahead, once we get our religion up, not our pantheon, our actual religion, we're going to go ahead and set, make sure we send a missionary up there to give that to them, and they will be our best friends for a little bit of time until they start to hate us when we start declaring wars and killing people, which will happen. Which will happen. I gotta watch these barbarians. There's nothing else around my area. Alright. Um, so we got one more build on our worker there. Right, let's go. Mm -hmm. Let's go that one right there. It's fine. I wanna heal you. Get you nice and healed. Right, so we got a barbarian scout. All right, so we found something for a boost. Oh, meet three city states since we met Kabul. 
were able to go ahead and we boosted another thing by just meeting them. Hello, Arabia. Saladin, I think. I think that's who it is. It's an honor to meet you. <coughs> Excuse me. So he's all the way up there. Um, we need to send some delegations. So you don't want my delegation. Okay, you don't like me. What about, um, that's me. Saladin. Send delegation. Yeah. Thank you. You like me. Why don't you like me? You do like me. You just don't want my delegation. Okay. That hurts my feelings. Claim you like me, but you don't like my delegation. Let's see your city states. So the, Kabul is the only one we did meet first, and that's a military one. And so uh, they'll give us extra production for when we're making units in the city. And this one's giving us gold. They keep, keep giving us gold, 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 gold. That's why we're making 10 gold a turn, which is nice. The other guy's giving us faith, so we're making three faith per turn with that guy. With help of him. Alright. So, our, yeah, go ahead and build a quarry. And we go, boost the craftsmanship by, which is the civic tree, which is the next one we're going to do. By uh, improving three tiles. Which was, boom, boom, boom. So the first work does help out with the civic tree. I really do want to settle there. So we've got to get that settler out. I normally try to buy mm -hmm. a settler too, but we're not going to have enough time to get enough gold to buy the settler for our first settler. Because I do really like that area and I want to go ahead and settle there as quickly as possible. Okay, so you send a delegation? Okay, welcome. Oh, so you'll send us now. I'll let you I'll let your delegation come. We guess for empire. Ooh, the sweetest fruits. It's rare snow to cool you. Ooh. So, so you sent us snow and fruits. That's pretty cool. Saladin, you. Are you gonna take my delegation yet? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. All right, so we, we researched irrigation. All right, so we do have two scouts in our area, which is all right. Don't really care enough about the scouts, so we'll worry about them. All right, so we could do this in book star science, which I think we might go ahead and do. Um, five turns, yeah. Then we can start building our campus or whatever the heck it is. Alright. Why don't you do a range attack? Kill him. And you finish him off. Probably should have done it the other way. But it's cool. Don't like barbarians. They punks. Hopefully you'll help him out there with that guy. Hopefully we'll get this done, crack a lackey. Three turns till we get our first. So we got our first Hatler out. I want to kill you with the slinger, so then it'll boost our uh, archery. Oh, I was hoping you weren't here. She's a pain in my ass, so we actually probably have to go ahead. And if we go to war, I would like to go to war with her first and make her take her out of the game early. Because she is great for domination victories, and she also seems to be pretty good at damn religious. She pumps out religious units and everything, and like, she pumps out units like no tomorrow. And they're pretty close to us, so that might not be a bad option. After we get the other city up, let's go ahead and start getting military units and just start going to town see what she building yeah she's building um, Stonehenge there which is gonna get her religion and then she's gonna pump out units and the last game I played she was on another continent and that whole continent was her religion because she's an asshole yeah 
asshole. I'm gonna be there trying to block him off. Go back to fortify. Um, let's meet you. Send you. You will not accept because you hate me. Because you are annoying and I will kill you. Don't worry, Sophia. I will murder you. I will murder you. So we're not going to go with the Hojo. Alright. So we boosted foreign trade. Learned foreign trade. Same time because we found another continent. Somehow. Continents are different in this game. Like one whole landmass can be a continent. So we're gonna link you with that, and then I want you to come. I really like that area. That's what we're gonna do. There's just so much stuff around here. All right, Civic Street. Boosted that, so we could just go ahead and get that cracky lacky. Alright, we build a trader and help out, but let's go ahead and get another slinger out. Rube might be doing an early war with Scythia. Just because, for the simple fact, I don't like him. And I know that she's going to be a problem later on in the game. Uh, I, I don't know what you're angry about. I, I don't get this, but so they do all have, um, you see here, you see their, uh, their agendas. So Bushido, he likes civilizations, has strong military and faith and culture outputs and dislikes those civilizations, strong military, but weak in those. Uh, but he also has a hidden agenda. So we don't know what that is. So he might be mad about that or that one. I don't know, but so that kind of decides how they react throughout the game with their agendas and how they will treat us, denounce us, go to war with us, be friends with us, um, and so on and so forth. Do we see another spot that we might want to do, City? Alright, so we can build a campus now, which is one of the districts that we were talking about earlier. Okay, so Hojo has fended off the barbarians over there. Oh, uh, they don't really see much up here that I like. Well, we'll have to explore up there. Maybe we'll forward settle Scythia. Can we build on that settler? 400 gold just time now for it. All right, let's do your research. I would like to get those archers out. Okay, I will accept your trade delegation for now, but I don't like you and we will, we will wipe you out. Let's go ahead and get the city settled and we will see where we go from there. Hey, you ran right into my trap. Not really, but it wasn't a trap. You just kind of ran into me. I'm just trying to explore around Scythia. So we could get this crack a lack in. Alright, so the barbarians over there. Oh, it sucks for you down in the tundra. Tundra is kind of like a barbarian breeding grounds. Barbarian breeding grounds! Yay! Yeah, look at those luxury resources. That's gonna be nice. We got silk too. Possibly could get the spices. I doubt it. No. Spices is not good. It's going to be too far away. Uh, yeah, spices will be too far away. Right, we, we do need to start pumping out our units. Because we are going to be going to war soon. Unfortunately. And fortunately, we shall be going to war. And let's take out that guy. Bye. Our scout just wrecked you. 
Our scout just rocked you. And we're going to go ahead and found Los Angeles. Huh. They have oranges and citrus in Los Angeles now. All right, so guys, we're going to end the episode here right now. We got our second city founded. We are going to be doing a war on Scythia eventually. Possibly starting next episode or sometime soon, definitely, though. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, to, if you like this video, to let me know down in the comments. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.